Hey, hey, and welcome to this first video of our new series where we'll be um, learning together how to make a Java 2D game. Um, as you can see, I have the IntelliJ welcome screen up, and I'm thinking that for today's video, we're just going to be creating the project and then getting a window to show. All right, let's get to it. Create the new project. Uh, uh, we're creating a Java project and we are using the OpenJDK 14, or at least that's what I'm using for the SDK. And we will not be using any libraries or any frameworks, so don't take these, just hit next. We are not creating anything from a template, so click next. And let's name our project. I'm just gonna call it my, um, my game. Yeah, very inventive, I know. All right, so here is our new empty project. So the first thing we want to do is to create the class which will act as our window. Let's call it a display. Yep. And we are going to make use of JFrame, which is a swing component. And you probably all know what swing is. so. This is just a frame, as it's called. And inside of this frame, we will put a canvas that we will later paint on. Let's just make that private. All right, so let's make the constructor. Public display, and we take in a width and a height of our window. All right, so let's see, let's Let's begin by setting the title of our window. Let's call it My Awesome 2D Game. And let's also set the default close operation. I try to always remember this. So what happens if we don't set this is that the window will close when you click on the red exit button. Um, but your program will still be running. Um, the process will still be running. So by doing this, it won't. Let's also set resizable to false for now. All right, let's instantiate our canvas. Canvas is equal a new canvas, right? Uh, canvas, we need to set the size, which will be the size that we set preferable size. The size that we pass in, only it takes it in something called a dimension. So just a new dimension with height. Okay, and let's also make it not focusable. All right, and then we'll just add the canvas component to our display with the add function inside of JFrame. And let's call the pack function, which from what I understand, uh, calculates the size of our JFrame depending on uh, its children and their sizes and positions and whatnot. All right, so let's also set the location relative to null. And what this will do is that our window will pop up centered. If we don't do this, it will pop up at the top left corner. All right, so we also need to set it to visible because it, I don't know, it instantiates as invisible. I don't know why. All right, so what we don't have is our main method yet. So we need a class which will hold our main method. And I'm just going to call this the launcher. Um, and you guys have probably seen main methods a million times, but public static void main string array arcs. And in here, let's just make a display, new display for now to test it out. It will probably not look like this later, but now we just wanna test it. And I don't have a configuration yet, but IntelliJ has picked up on this main method because we have this little green arrow. So let's run this main function. And look, we have a window. That's awesome. It's what we set out to do. Cool. 
All right, so I will see you in the next video, which I think will be the game loop, but we'll see. All right, hey do.